I'm Preston Perks with SNS Worldwide, and I'm the Executive Director of Administration. Right here, we're standing right here in the shipping bay of the main fabrication facility of the company. So this is where everything comes in and goes out as far as the parts that we're going to fabricate, put together, ship to our customers. So it all starts here. It goes over into the inspection area. So over here is where we inspect all the parts that come in, uh, do verifications that they meet our design requirements, our drying requirements. And then they'll flow actually in a, in a clockwise fashion. So when we develop this new facility, we are able to work on our efficiencies and we really thought about how does the product flow and it, it's really worked out well. So right here, this is our packaging area for our spare parts business. So when customers need a spare part or they have a warranty item, this is the group that packages it here. So you can see we've got some 40 free spin wheels right here on a pallet that are getting ready to be shipped out somewhere. We acquired the Aero business when they ended up uh, going bankrupt and we've we've kept all of the Aero drawings. We have an old area where we have all the old Aero drawings that are the original, you know, art that I would call it back in, done in the, the 60s and 70s. And we continue to supply spare parts for all the Aero customers out there. You know, the, a lot of people are trying to keep those Aero rides running. They're nostalgic. They're something that are very important for a park and we obviously want to help them out by providing the parts that are necessary to keep them running. So we assemble the electrical panels here, the main control panels, the MLCs, the ROCs. You, know, you can see over there that's a traditional 40 free spin control panel. Those spools there are cable for air launches so that's what we utilize and send out to the parks with the air launch coasters. So that's what uh, goes at the end of the air launches. Over 100 people on staff. Almost everyone works here in this facility. Uh, you know, we have a whole engineering and design group, uh, purchasing, project management, quality department, uh, service department, installation, customer service. You know, so we do we do everything around here, and then we obviously have all of our assembly staff, paint weld shop, material processing. So we have people for all those different areas. So, you know, our towers, we've converted to different types of tower seats and frames, but this is the old design as far as the tower seat. So someone's purchased some replacement tower seats here. We moved into this facility in May of 2018. The reason we moved is because we were out of space. We had one conference room, now we have seven meeting and collaborative rooms where we're able to come together and have different discussions, meetings with customers. Our shop face space, we doubled our, our manufacturing space. And like I said, we changed the flow. We, before we built out buildings, when we needed to go to the paint shop, we had to take it outside. We're here in Utah, we deal with snow and rain and cold temperatures. And now we can keep everything inside if we need to. And it flows from one side of the shop all the way to the other. And it comes right back where it started to where we can ship. As well as we've put up all these different crane systems here. So instead of having a, a forklift, you know, lift a part into place where someone can work on it and assemble it. We've got jib cranes at every station, every weld spot, every assemble spot, so that we can work on the safety of the ride. You know, we can control things a lot easier. Also put in LED lights, uh, different heating systems. So the efficiencies are there. We tried to keep our facility as efficient as possible. It's helped us with a lot of our costs with uh, you know, our utilities. 